You and Jungkook were sitting on the terrace, keeping yourself warm with the heat of the hot coffee, because his heater never works properly. It's better to get warmed by the food rather than fixing it again and again. Nowadays, it become your favorite time. Jungkook always try to come home early from his work, and you both spend your time together. You blew your tea and take a sip. You never try to make them understand that you don't want to marry. Jungkook is bringing up the topic of your past again, which you just finished telling him. You are feeling better after taking out the burden from your shoulder, taking out the truth of your parents, that how they wanted you to fulfill their dreams, how they just use you as a business. How they try to fix your marriage with a person who was already madly in love with someone else, and you also can't marry him because you love Jungkook, and with someone in your heart you can't make others suffer, and when you are not able to fulfill their wishes, they abandoned you. That was the day when you ran away from your house. It's better to suffer on your own rather than dying between those who can never be yours. Does that change anything? They were getting what they want: their business, my happiness, my wants, my future. Nothing matters for them. They just raised me to fulfill their dreams, to work as a puppet for them. And when you couldn't able to do the work, they will throw you like you meant nothing to them. Sometimes I feel like I am always the wrong person in everyone's story, the person no one wanted to accept. It's not like that. Maybe you are the most special person in someone's story too. Special than you even think. Special that they can't be able to forget and always want you to be with them. He said, looking at you while you chuckled slightly and nodded. I wish there could be someone who will accept me, not as the special or best, but at least as a good person. They once saw in their story. That will be the best moment of my life. You will never get to know how much the person loves you. Maybe in someone's book of life, your name always be written there, on every single page. You both felt like it's not working, and you both end up things. Don't you think it's a lame reason to break up and suffer all your life? It was not lame back then. Maybe we both were so serious about our studies and don't realize the depth of this relationship. She looked at you and raised her brows. Yona come to the cafe with some of her office friends to have some coffee and discuss about the new project they got. Everyone except her left as she was insisting to go home with you when you will finish your work. But now she is making you spill all the secrets. Does that mean you still love him? You didn't say anything and keep on cleaning the table. She smiled and again opened her mouth to ask you something. Of course, but before she said anything, you extended a wallet towards her. She looked at you confused. Jungkook forgot it here. Why don't you go home and give him this? I might get a little late. You live with him, not me. Why don't you give this back to him when you go home? And why go home? Just call him here. Three of us going for dinner out. It's been so long. Great idea, but why me? Just call him by your own. My phone is dead. She said, showing you her phone while you scoffed and rolled your eyes. Why you even keep the phone with you when it's not charged any time? You said, and take out your phone as you left with no other choice. She smiled. You call Jungkook, but your brows frown when the phone ring in the cafe itself. You'll now look around and sign, seeing his phone on the table, where he was sitting. She extended her hand to grab it, but a smile crept on her face when she saw the name he saved your number with. Oh my sunshine! She smiled, looking at you while you looked away. Your face turned all red. Don't you think it's a little childish? I don't think so. You say trying to avoid her. She shrimped, looking at your right face. 
Suddenly the door of the cafe opened, catching both of your attention, and there comes Jungkook hurriedly. The tension around his forehead shows that he is finding his phone and the wallet. Wayan, did you find my wallet and phone here? I think I forgot it here. He pressed the lips together and nodded, looking at Yona. She smiled and extended the phone towards him. He sighed in relief and was about to take that, but she snatched it again, making him look at her confused. What's that? Oh my sunshine! Don't you think it's a little too childish? She said, teasing him. Jungkook looked at you when your face was already red, and same goes with him too now. Yona standing there between you two, staring with her eagle eyes. I will come after signing the checkout, you said, and ran from there, leaving that awkward moment. Yona looked at Jungkook and raised her brows. He tried to take his wallet again, but this attempt of him failed too. There's nothing like that, Yona. We just agree to be friend again. Is there something I'm missing out, huh? Of course not. He said, looking in her eyes, she scoffed and gave him his wallet and phone back. Jungkook looked at her, confused by her sudden change in behavior. We agree to be friends. Are you crazy? Here I am waiting to hear some spicy news from you both for a month, and you both just agree to be friends. Is it that hard to solve that small issue of yours? And what can I expect from a person like you? She said and left the cafe angrily, making him look at her confused. What's wrong with her? Why ain't you saw my watch? I'm getting late. You sign and come out from the kitchen, only to find him running around the whole house. Did you check your pants pocket? He stopped and looked at you, biting his tongue. Oh, it's here. Thank you. By the way, I'm going to get a little late today. Okay, don't overwork yourself. And breakfast? Not today. I'm already late and had no time. Then at least grab an apple. Don't go empty stomach. He smiled and took the apple. He looked at you. Thank you for this and take care of yourself. You too and drive safely. He nodded and rushed out the house while you smiled slightly. Little by little, things are getting better between you two. You are understanding what happened in the past was just a little game of destiny. In actual, we both never leave from each other's heart. She always remains as my favorite incomplete wish. He said, looking at the sky with his tearful eyes. While Yona sighed, it's the first time she saw Jungkook like this, all drawn in the memories of someone whom he still loves. If you both still love each other, then why break up? A deep sigh left his mouth and he shook his head. Don't know, that time we were so focused on our own problems that we didn't realize how much we meant for each other. And things won't hurt us further. We decided to break up. It's not only my or only her decision, but we together talk on this. Without even knowing how we will move on with this love still fresh in our heart. Happens when you are not sure of anything, but that doesn't mean that you can't give this a one more chance. If you still love her, then why can't you just go and confess to her? He looked at her and pressed his lips together. What do you think? She still love me? You are asking me this. Didn't you ever feel like somewhere in her heart you were still there, like a precious memory of her? She still used to keep your gifts as a special thing for her. When everyone around her betray her, she comes to you. After so many years, she still used to remember you. And that could only happen when you never leave the person's heart. She can go anywhere, but she chooses a place where she can sure to get comfort. She would never return to you back if she moved on. Just try it once and confess before it's too late. If you couldn't able to move on in these years, then don't expect to be moved on in future too. If you let her go second time, you will end up regretting it all. 
she said looking at him while he just looked down pressing his lips together You will thank me later if you do what I said. Either just go and confess to her or if you are shy with your words, then let your actions decide your fate. Just go to her and open the door, search for her and walk to her. Without saying anything, just pull her in a kiss. The outcome will be so simple. If she slapped you, that means she doesn't love you. If she stays still that means she is shocked and if she kisses your back that means she is also in love with you Jungkook chuckled and looked at her while her innocent face is just not matching her with the stable she mind her eyes turned confused when he didn't stop laughing I am feeling bad for your soon to be husband god knows who will handle this crackhead best of luck for future Come on, he will be the luckiest person to get someone like me. His life will be full of adventure and fun, not as boring as you who can't even confess your love. Not everyone's situation is the same. You will get to know when you will fall for someone. Words seems to be lost no matter how much you practice to be confident. You will feel nervous automatically. Then who told you to practice? Just go to them and say what's there in your heart. It's easy to say not to do. Yona scoff and lean her back on the railing. You are so confident, as if I never fall in love. She said and rolled her eyes while Jungkook's eyes widened and looked at her. What's that? You also love someone? Whom? Did you confess or just kiss him and he slapped you? Just tell me what happened. She looked at him with a scrunched face. while he threw questions at her just tell me first treat me with an ice cream i will tell you everything after that okay i will treat you but you have to pay for that come on no matter how much this world has changed but for me one rule is still the same man is the one who had to pay for everything i don't believe in 50-50 don't forget that you are more than me so what i'm still a girl and i will never pay for anything If I'm with a boy then it's his responsibility to pay for my side too. That's what my father used to do too. I have been paying for your ice cream from years. Isn't it cool? Look, our friendship comes too far. Every stick of my favorite ice cream shows the amount of loyalty you had for me. And in return, I give you advice about your life. Come on, grab someone and kiss them without their permission," he said and laughed as she rolled her eyes. "That's my personal advice, but never fail. You can try it if you want. It's okay. I will find my own way," he said and laughed as she shrugged her shoulder. Jungkook walked inside the living room but didn't find you there. Usually you would be waiting for him, but not today. He checked your room and the other rooms of the house, but you were nowhere to be found, causing Jungkook to feel a little worried. Then he heard some sound from the balcony. Peeking out, he saw you sitting there gazing at the sky. He signed and walked to you. He approached you quietly, not wanting to startlet you. As he stepped onto the balcony, he noticed the pensive look on your face. shining by the soft glow of the moon i was looking for you downstairs you look at him and smile while he smiled back at you and sat beside you you fold your legs on the couch and take a deep breath looking up at the sky all these years you never changed the interior of the house and even this balcony why Your this sudden question leave him speechless. Why? He himself doesn't know. Maybe because this gave him a warm feeling of staying around you or maybe because the memories here are so beautiful that he don't want to ruin them by painting the house new. Old is gold. That's how he is taking it. Actually, I like it this way. I never get any design as beautiful as this one. You slowly nodded. 
It's beautiful, just like it was back then. Grow older, but the vibes are the same. Maybe that's the reason I wanted to protect it. And there's a silence for a while. Neither of you said anything. Nor he started any topic to talk on. You live half of your life in silence, but this one is something so different. You love silence with him because this gives you peace. Had your dinner? He asked, breaking the peaceful silence. He looked at him and nodded. Yeah, how about you? Didn't you have it? You asked with concern in your voice, but he just shook his head, giving you some relief. Oh no, there's a party in my company. I had my dinner there. I was just worried that you might not eat it. That's why I just asked. He said as his voice lowered when he finished his words. You nodded and then again that silence. There's a lot to say and a lot to confess. Both the sides were in a mess with their feelings. Sitting beside each other, you were little confirmed about each other's feelings, but still waiting for the other one to take a move first. And in this hostile bustle of thoughts, you two choose to stay silent. You took a deep breath, preparing yourself for the difficult conversation ahead. You turned to Jungkook. Your heart is heavy with the weight of the words you were about to speak. Jungkook, you begin, your voice barely above a whisper. There's something I need to tell you. Jungkook's brows frown in concern as he turned to you, sensing the gravity of your words. What is it, Yen? You press your lips together, don't know how to say to him that you are finally leaving. Even after coming so close to him once again, you are again leaving just like back then. Past repeat itself. You both had feelings for each other. You both still love each other. But just like back then, you both hide your feelings inside, thinking that you are not the right person for each other's life. Jungkook was looking at you, waiting for you to tell him what you wanted to tell. You looked at him. Your eyes got a little teary, making him worried. I'm leaving abroad today. Jungkook's heart sank at your word. A pang of... Sadness washing over him, his chest aches, hearing your words. In just a blink of an eye, his whole world seems to be flipped suddenly. What? Why? I mean, is something wrong happened? He asks, not able to digest the word of yours. His heart just trying to find some reason to make you stay back. Everything seems to slide from his hands. The time, the love, everything. From outside, he looks so normal, but inside there is a volcano of emotions boiling. As he again feels the same, he feels back then. Helpless. No, there's nothing like that. It's just Yunjin arranged a place for me in the New York. One of his friends lives there. He said that he will help me. It's better to live somewhere far than living around the people who hurt you. I also don't want to cross my ways again and again. With my parents, I just don't want to see them anymore and also can't live here for forever. You can, he said instantly making you look at him. He gulped. I mean, why can't you live here? I don't have any problem with you living here with me as a flatmate for forever. To be honest, it feels so good to see someone being by your side. You chuckle in your tears, but this time the smile doesn't help you to shine your face because it's saw something come out from your heart. It's just a raw smile for a show. It's not possible. It might look, but it's not. I just don't want to move on from my past, but also want to start a new life. Now I wanted to live for myself. Enough of living for others. You really wanted to move on from the memories of your past and your heart tightened again. Of course not. There is something you never wanted to move on from. There is something whom your heart will never forget. You looked at Jungkook and his eyes were staring at you, looking for an answer within you. You pressed your lips together and looked down. You can't look at him like this. Maybe or maybe not, 
but I want to thank you. Thank you for everything you do for me. Jungkook, thank you for not abandoning me like others. I come to you with hopes. Thank you for keeping the hope alive. I will never repay you for this, but always remember that I am so grateful for everything you do for me, for letting me stay with you and for being so kind to me. You have made me feel at home in a way I never thought possible. Jungkook smiled, waved for a moment as he listened to your words, his own heart heavy with the knowledge of their impending goodbye, but he quickly composed himself, forcing a smile to mask the age of his heart. You're welcome, Vyan. I'm glad I could be there for you. You returned his smile, your eyes shining with unshed tears as you fought to hide the pain bubbling beneath the surface. You knew that saying goodbye would be one of the hardest things you did ever have to do, but for now, you plastered on a brave face and force on the warmth of the memories of you both has created together. You smiled and hugged him, couldn't able to control yourself and your emotions. Thank you for everything, Jungkook. You said and tears shut to your eyes. One of the hardest moments of anyone's life. Jungkook's eyes were teary too as he somehow controlled his tears in his eyes and don't let them fall. He gulped all his pain and wrapped his arm around your waist. I'm gonna miss you.